Hey, babe. Hi. Have you decided? Ah. <sighs> well, yes, I... I have. So? What is it going to be? Boyfriend or Henry? Henry. Look, I know that's not the response she wanted, but I am. Uh, it's... No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. What? Hello? Natasha, now why will your number not be connecting at this time? At this minute? I just hope she gets this message. Uh, okay. All right. I hope she she gets the message. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. YouTube, Netflix. Mm. Into Netflix, I beg. Yes, Henry, what is it? Well, I'm getting ready to go to my family house. You love... <laughs> Are you serious? You love to go with me? No, hold on. When did you change your mind? As my hired boyfriend. Hired boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. See you later, is it you? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I'm waiting. See you later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. <sighs> yes. 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 Mom, done with the dishes. So, which of the soups would you want me to prepare first? I think you should start with uh, making stew. I will okay. do the soup myself. Okay. Be fast. The way you delay in doing things these days, I don't understand. I'm sorry, Ma. I promise to be quick with this one. Better. All right. Oh, my in-law. I was meaning to call you later in the day. How are you? My dear, I am fine. Yes, I am calling to find out how the preparation is going. Everything is almost done. That's good. Please, what is your plan for Asheri? Oh, my friends are putting on a burnt orange. Burnt orange, George. <laughs> ah. 
I can't wait to have your daughter in my home. She's such a nice girl. My son is blessed to have such a good girl from a good home. Having you as my in-law is a blessing to my daughter and my family. I am rest assured that she is in a good health. We bless God. It's all right. I'll talk to you again. It's okay. Thank you. What? <laughs> Why are you so tensed? Look, relax. We will do this, okay? They'll never find out. Um, <clears throat> please, can we just go through the details and possible questions again? Please? Oh, if it makes you feel good, let's go. Shoot. Okay. So, where did we meet? At a conference in South Africa. How long have we been dating? Slightly over a year now. It was my best food? Ah, Natasha, come on, it's noodles. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I told you we can do this. We're friends already, it's not rocket science, okay? It's easy peasy, we'll get through it. We can do this, relax. Okay? That's true. Thank you for doing this with me. You're welcome, anytime. <laughs> All right, we're good. She was gonna come, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I know. I know. Meet my boyfriend, Henry. Cheers, a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. I know. Hi. <laughs> okay, Henry, that's my cousin Lillian. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure is on mine, thank you. <laughs> mm. That's our friend, Stephanie. Hello. <laughs> and that's my only sister, right oh. to me. Oh. oh, good to meet you. Same here, darling. You look good. Thank you. Oh. Um, Mom? Is that? Where are you going? You're back. Oh, 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 okay, okay, fine. I'll just get it, don't worry. Alright, that's it. <laughs> Girl, I'm, I'm tired of waiting. Can you imagine? Your friend is wasting our time. I'm tired. All right, let me get my phone. Oh my goodness. What is it? Stephanie just sent me a text message. And she said that Natasha came back home with a man. What? No, no, no. Hold on. How come Natasha did not tell us that she has a boyfriend? Well, I don't know. I believe she has her reasons. Are you serious? I am curious. You know what? I cannot wait to see the look on James's face when he finally knows about Natasha's new man. Wahala go do. Hey, go red do. Well, I don't think he's going to care. I believe he has moved on. You see, I just wonder how he looks like. If he's tall, sexy, you know, handsome. Who? Uh -uh. Girl, stop dolly now. Natasha's boyfriend, of course. Girl, seriously? Why don't you get your eyes off someone's man? Jeez, please go and get your phone and call your friend and stop keeping me here. I better take him easy, sharp. Let's go for admire. Oh, please, let me get my phones. Seriously? I don't know what she looks like. Is it sexy? Is it cute? You see, I'm um, thinking it would be better if the ladies stay in a different hotel. No, oh, come on, James. But that would be a total inconvenience, you know? And um, 
the wedding is just in few days time and they already will have um, mapped out the functions before the D-Day. You look worried. Is that about Natasha? Oh no, come on. <laughs> come on, I'm not, I'm not worried about her. Good. You know she's no longer my responsibility. Mm. <laughs> you see, James, you, you have to... That will be, you have to mind your business. Hmm? Just day your day. Hmm? May she day her day. No, take your own. Spoil person own. You understand? She already don't get a boyfriend. So just mind your business. You know that kind of thing. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay. She's good. I, I don't have a problem with that. Uh. Jojo! <laughs> the way you're shining for this your wedding, eh? <laughs> well, you see this wedding, eh? It's going to be a bomb. I'm really preparing so good for this, uh, this wedding. Yeah, I know. A lot of money's going down. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, we're here, we're here already, so my brother, no I just I just want to give my woman the best. Mm -hmm. Love a boy. Uh, yeah, say that again. Yeah. We'll go see our own too. That's how it used to be. Young man. What do you do for a living? Daddy, Anton. <clears throat> it was an IT company, Dad. And they have branches in um, Ghana, UK, and uh, India. They are into development of um, softwares and apps, Dad. Mm. What about your parents? Do you have siblings? Oh yes, I do. I have a younger sister who lives in the U.S. Um, she's a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. And then of course my mom lives in the U.S. as well with her, but she used to be a medical practitioner before she retired. And my dad is late. Oh, so sorry about that. My condolences. It's fine. It's, it's been a oh. Thank you. And so, young man, what plans do you have for my daughter? Dad! <laughs> dad, you can't ask him that question. Do you love my sister? Victoria, would you like you guys getting married? Shut up. Come on, sister, just ask her. I just asked a polite question. Mm -hmm. Natasha. Yes, Dad. I believe the young man can answer for himself. Well, sir, I... I have very good plans for your daughter. Um, I'm not here to play with her heart. I'm not here to waste her time. Mm. But for now, we're friends. Well, very good friends, two people who are fond of each other. However, we have chosen to take things slowly, given the fact that we're just recovering from our past ugly re relationship experience, you know. But we have good intentions towards each other. And um, to Victoria, your question? I love your sister very much. I have good plans for her. And I hope that if we're able to transition through this stage, I should be able to probably call her my wife someday. Aww. That's so sweet of you. A gentleman indeed. Thank you. Oh, your mom must be so proud of you. I hope she is. <laughs> Congratulations in advance. Thank you. Thank you so much. Natasha, baby. <laughs> yeah, I love you dearly. Aww. My baby. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't know they will devour you like that. Nah, it's nothing. It's not your fault. Come on now. Uh, we, we didn't plan for that. We didn't know the questions were going to go in that direction. <laughs> I know, uh. but that really puts you in a very tight corner. I mean, this whole thing is... It's a bad idea. It is. Stop beating yourself up, my darling. It's okay. Uh, at least we handled it, didn't we? Yes. Uh-huh. We handled it. Don't you think we should stop this? I mean, Why? Let's, just, let's just stop it before it gets out of control. And what are you going to say to your family? What, you want to change your story now? Too late. Uh, come on, let's, let's just keep at it. Uh, 
I'll handle it. It's nothing. Okay. Yeah, hey, I got this. Relax. Right. You worry too much. See your face. Uh, <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, relax. It's nothing. Man, these this people. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. I, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, but we handled it. Phone. Oh no, if it's not with you then it should be in the car, you want to check the car? I left it with Lilian. You know what, just go and settle in, I will meet you. Oh. Wow, you, you look beautiful. You look good too. You know, I thought seeing you again was going to look awkward, but trust me, you look more beautiful than ever. I don't know, maybe you're aging backward, but you have to tell me who that vampire blood supplier of yours is. James with the words. <laughs> um, Thank you. You're welcome, my dear. I think we should do... Maybe hang out sometime with lunch, dinner. Mm. Just as friends. Mm. Trust me. Lillian! Stop, Lillian! Sit! Lillian, why? Why? Because you didn't have to do that. I had it under control for God's sake. <laughs> of course you did. I wasn't trying to save you from him. I was trying to save you from yourself. You didn't have to. God, I'm over him, you know. <laughs> you were over him. Really. And one encounter with him, you're already burning with temperature. What is wrong with you? I feel like by now we should have learned your lessons. He doesn't deserve you. Do you, do, do you 
do you think he has a girlfriend? Jesus Christ, Natasha, it is none of your business. Even if he does, you have a man who is patiently waiting for you in the room. What is your problem? Lydia, you will never understand. Yes, maybe I don't. Make me understand. Wow, Sandra, these cake designs are beautiful. Thank you. Oh, baby. Yeah. Look at these. These are beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Um, babe, yeah. which one do you think we should go for? Oh. All right, let me see that one. Let's go for this. Oh, baby, this is outdated. No, I can't have this in my wedding. Oh. Not at all. All right, honey, make a choice. Just make no, a choice, okay? Don't give up on me yet. Choose. Just make a choice. Honey, I'm not giving up. You're a woman. It's your day. So whatever you choose, I'll be okay with it. Okay? All right. Let me see. Let's see. That's my baby. Let's see. They are so beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. And this, I'm just so confused. I'm confused on which one to go for. <laughs> just um, make a choice. Sandra. Yes, ma'am. Please, can we do this tomorrow? As you can see, we're both confused on which of them to oh, go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, man. No, no. Tomorrow is impossible. It's inconvenient. For me, for everybody, for the crew, no, no. We cannot. Because even the caterer is complaining. We're behind schedule. No, 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 ma. There's so many things to be planned. There's so many things that have not been done. No, no. We cannot. I'm sorry, ma. We cannot. Okay. Sandra, you can do something. I'm sorry, ma. We can't do anything about it. So what do you do? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm under pressure. I'm sorry. Jo. No, no. Oops. Hey. Oh. Hey. hey. My bad. Sorry for budget now. I didn't know you were going to call me. It's okay. Hey. Victoria. Hey. 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 Well, good to see you. See you too. <laughs> and maybe your friend is here, so... Ah. Then we need both of you to do the cash up, okay? Uh -huh, so okay. Can we go outside? Let us stay. Maybe I can actually make a choice. Who knows? Yes, very good. Okay. okay. All right then. Ah. Oh. I'll be doing. James, James, you look good. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ah, baby. All right. Bye. All right, love. Hey, guys, sit here. Okay. You for couple. Why you just badge into my room like this? Supposing I don't talk about my woman, they chop her. What do you think? For just, for just, I just went and there. Vex, no vex. Now for excitement, worry me. <laughs> Guess who I saw? Who be that again? Natasha! <laughs> Wicked, though. Can you tell me that my girl now looks more beautiful than I used to know? Which kind of question can be that one? I saw her, trust me, I lost my defenses. She was looking at every man's back. Let's go out. James? What's it happen? Definitely not your spec. Which, which one can't be that one again? Okay. Maybe I need to refresh your memory. Maybe you don't forget. Okay. But now that is the same babe. Now you dumb. Waka go. Go ahead, beg. Erase those matter come off your mind. Erase them completely. I understand, say I mess up, eh? but I'm here to make it right. Do you understand? Come on, man. You don't see this, babe. See how hot looking she is. See, I will do nothing to get her back. James, Disgusting. James. There is nothing you can make right. Look, make her tell you the truth. She don't get a new bubble. And I hear say they won't get married very soon. So, guy, day your day. I beg, make you day your day. I beg, I beg, you, 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 you see, leave that one. You focus on your wedding, eh? I love you, do my own. <laughs> You know how I marry? James, James. Now my wedding you come, James, I beg. Make you no poor San San for my garden. I beg. You don't just cast for Allah. Joe, not Guy, make you day your lane. Make your Allah day her lane. I beg. Your wedding will go fine. You will day your lane. But you see this girl? Get her back. Babes plenty. Hey! Babes plenty. We can't for Guys, baby, my Choose no one now. Sense. <laughs> my wife gets friends. My wife gets some friends. Just one of them, just pick one. Pick one amongst them. Do they have fools? You took a 
हुआ I had, I had didn't see Lily and and I searched every everywhere in the room for it. I I didn't see it, so I I had to wait for her. Is everything okay, Nat? You look a bit pale. Did something happen? Nothing happened there. I'm fine. <laughs> well, you say you're fine, but you look every inch like you're not fine. Well, what is it? I said I am fine. Hey, what are you sure? Henry, I need to be left alone. the case then I guess she's not yet over him. I am so shocked that James has said to be their best man. It is so lame of him to show his face around here after all the trouble he caused in the past. I just feel like tearing him apart. I'm not gonna let him hurt her again. Never. Well Natasha is a grown woman. She knows what's best for her. Mercy sometimes I do not understand the way you talk. Seriously, whose side are you? Of course I am on Natasha's side. Mm. But then you can't stop her if she decides to go back to him. Mm. I don't know, but why on earth is love so complicated? Oh. No. 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 Lily? What's going on here? When you told me that your fiancé said that James was going to be his best man and he was going to be here, I told you outrightly that it was a terrible decision, right? True. And you said, oh, my sister has gotten over him and I can't convince my fiancé otherwise, blah, blah, blah. Um, you have not answered my question. What is happening? Um, Natasha met with him a few hours ago and, you know, their encounter made her so emotional. What? <laughs> How is that even possible? No, 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 no. You guys are exaggerating. I mean, my sister has moved on. She has a boyfriend. <laughs> you think so? Oh. Of course. Yeah. Okay. One encounter with him, and it looks like his scent lingers in the air. I shouldn't be thinking about him. It's harder than I thought. What am I going to do now? I have to avoid him by all means. Yes, that's what I would do.
Life is like a movie, <laughs> and we're just the actors in it playing our parts, you know. I left her four years ago. I wish I didn't. Who? What are you talking about? My girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend. Oof. Sorry. I wasn't her fault. It was my mistake. And I never knew I was... I never knew I had this feeling if I was going to get in touch with her again. But you did. Yes, I did. <laughs> if I didn't, why would I be drinking myself to stupor? I get it. <laughs> so what do you want to do now? Like, what's the plan? What are you going to do? I want her back. What? You want her back? Oh, yes, and I'm going to do everything to get her back. Okay, slow down, man, slow down. Now, what if she doesn't want you back? Oh, no, she wants me back. You so see, what's your... I saw it in her eyes. The moment we saw her. Okay. I'll do everything to get her back. Sounds good. I heard she has a guy that she's with, but I don't give an F about it. I'll just do me. Oh, yes. I like your confidence, man. If you're sure that you you have this, you know, locked down, then why worry? I mean, if you're certain that she's going to accept you, man, you don't have a problem. Don't you think so? You look worried. You shouldn't be worried. Relax. I mean, you're confident she, she likes you. Still, like you still like her, so it's okay, you know. So you just might have her back. You, know? you want to win her back? Be positive. Okay, life happens, man. You know, Thanks. Thanks probably she'll give you a second chance to to fix your mess. 
because you just said you messed it up. Oh, yes, I did. No, no, no. Thanks for the advice. What would you do if you were in my position? What would I do? Hi, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, Natasha. You called your name. Uh, uh, you know this man? I, I guess we'll see my offer since we're in the same hotel. My boyfriend, Henry. Oh. Henry? Yes. That's my ex, I've been telling you about James. He, he is your boyfriend? Yes. My pleasure. Oh my goodness. Come on, man. Take my hand. Ah! <laughs> I have heard so much about you. It's you, huh? Sweetheart. Huh? It's a big now. We are running. Yes, we should get out of here. <laughs> Bro. Good luck on trying to win her back, bro. It's really you, huh? <laughs> Shit. Hey, you forget the lighter! Jump it. Well, you, you didn't tell me that you had seen him. Hey, what is it? You make it sound like I had a dinner appointment with him. Man, we just bumped into each other. And that, that was it. Why you just bumped into him? It wasn't what? You, you don't think that you should have told me about it? Why is sounding this way? Like we even have a relationship. What is it? What is it? Well, now I'm sounding like we have a real relationship when you have me acting as your boyfriend so that you can feel good when you run into the man that dumped you. And then you think it's too much to ask if I say, tell me everything that you do so I know how to do my job. Right? And now you accuse me of acting like I'm your boyfriend? Really? This is what I get? Do you know what? I've had enough of this nonsense. I've had enough of it. Uh, 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 uh. Where are you going? That's none of your business. You know what? You're relieved of your duty. You're fired. Who is it? She's, um, she's in the bedroom. All right. Um, let me officially introduce myself. Okay. I am Messi, oh. Victoria's friend. Oh, nice meeting you. I know virtually I have friends, um, but unfortunately I've not met you once. All right. Um, I haven't been in town. I actually came in for the wedding, your wedding. You are so handsome. My friend must be lucky to have you. I. She said your friend. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Messy. Babe, how are you? Yes, Mr. Reggie. Yes, I am. Um. <clears throat> the girls are leaving for the shoots. You're not prepared. Oh no, as you can see, I just had my bath. I will join them in one hour time, okay? All right. All right. I'll it's fine. You. Yeah. You're looking good, yeah. darling. Thanks, I know. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'll join you soon. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay.
I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry that I overreacted. I'm really, really sorry. You're right. After reminding me how I was stumped, right? Oh no, come on. Listen, I was just looking out for you. I, 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 I didn't want to hurt you. I, I, I didn't want you hurt as well. You know, I mean, given the fact that I just figured out that you hadn't got it because you know for him. That's not, that's, 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 that's fine, Henry. That's fine. You know, I, I understand you. You never meant it. I knew and I shouldn't have overreacted, you know. You know I'm very upset with myself right now. Oh, why? Why would I feel that way? Okay. Why? After everything that man did to me, after leaving me the way he did, dumped me that way, and I still feel like this? No. No, 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 I feel... Why? I know <sighs> how you feel. But it's the heart. Remember, we can't tell the heart what to feel. Huh? Don't beat yourself up. Come on. You've got this. Hmm? Oh, so, um, what next? What are you going to do now? Truly, I don't know. I don't know because I don't know if he, if he really wants me back. I, I don't well, know. What? <laughs> you never know if you don't find out. Oh, you know what? I think I want to make him jealous. Okay. I want to make him see what he has missed. Okay. I need to make him regret his actions. That's the spirit. <laughs> I need to make him understand and regret why he left without even explanations. That's it! Come on! I told you, you you've got this! Woo! <laughs> That's the spirit! Huh? But you see, but, but that also means that we've got to raise our couple goals. Okay? We've got to step our game up. You know, they see us, they go like, I have that couple goal. You know, couple goals, couple goals, couple goals. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got to make him jealous. He's got to. Ah! That's it! Mm, he's got to know what he's missed. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Like, we've got to show him. How much we love you. You, you see why I love you. You just see why I love you. I love you You're too. my friend. You're my friend. Maybe you got my back. That's why I love you. You got my back. You got my back. Thank you. Right. Thank you. What? So what? Hold up. You know you found me a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> of course. You have your job back. You silly. Come As on. your boyfriend, right? Yeah. As your boyfriend. You, you know I cannot pull this off without you. Did you know that? I need you. James, I don't understand you. You left this cure long ago, I pleaded with you. I talked to you as a friend. But you said you were done. She moved on, left her in the dark. And now she has found the love of her life. You came from the blue. You seem not to be happy for her. Oh, come on. I didn't expect her to move on just like that. You do not expect her to move on like that for four solid good years. Four good years, James. And you want her to be craving for your attention. Listen, you know, the worst is, this idiot was listening to me while I was trying to convince him and tell him I wanted to win that over, not knowing that he was her boyfriend. 
It helps you fool yourself. You fool yourself by telling a total stranger about your love life without knowing whom the person is. You know, I later accosted him, but it all ended with insults, telling me that I'm simply a coach. A coach? Meaning? Oh no, come on. Coaches are simply players who won't play anymore. James. Do not start a war you can't finish. No one in her family loves you. You're here for a duty. And your duty is to be my best man. Please, focus on your duty. Finish your job as my best man. Pick whatever belongs to you and leave the city, please. You want me to leave? Just like that without her? An advice from a friend to a friend. You don't understand. You told me to find a woman. I still feel for her. I didn't die back. Not for a woman you left for so long, James. The woman you left heartbroken, tormented. She almost killed herself. Oh, no, come on, you don't need to remind me of this. I know, I know, right? You don't need to remind me. Take a cheap pill. Sit down. We need to talk. Yes, I will not be able to make it. No, for personal reasons. Yeah. And I can count on you that, you know, whatever transpired in the meeting, you will give me the feedback. Yes, I really need it to. No, 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 but I, 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 just, I will explain to you when we meet, okay? All right, thank you so much. <clears throat> See that? You've been hissing all day. What's the problem? I'm worried about Natasha. Did anything happen to her? Not at all. Nothing happened to her. But I am not comfortable with that boy around her. I'm not. Henry, I, I thought you liked him. I'm not talking about Henry now. Eh? I'm talking about that bad boy, James, that almost killed my daughter. Okay. Oh, I understand how you feel. You see, we can't stop him from attending the wedding. It's our son-in-law's friend. What if he interferes in Natasha's relationship? Hey. What do we do then? <laughs> he dare not. He dare not. We know what our daughter went through. It was by the grace of God that she, she, she survived it. So there's no way we'll allow that to happen. Okay? And besides, our daughter have had enough experience and so will not allow any insolence from him. Don't worry yourself. Okay. That's my I'm not worry myself anymore. <laughs> After our daughter Natasha is wise enough, yeah. she will know how to handle him. Yeah. Um, get me a fruit salad. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay, I'll get that for you. That's my baby. <laughs> I'm a bit relieved now. That's good. Let me get your fruit salad, okay? All right there. <laughs> I'm so happy my sister has finally found a man that truly loves her. I'm happy for her as well. <laughs> Baby, yeah. did you see the look on your friend's face when they kissed? Oh my God, your friend was dead jealous. <laughs> the worst mistake he made was um, leaving your sister. Talking of that, did he ever tell you why he left her? Maybe he cheated on her. That is why he walked out of the relationship. 
Why did you say that? Guilt. Guilt is one reason a man can walk out of a relationship without a word. Baby, so you knew. No, you knew all this way that he was cheating on my sister and you never said a word. You know, my sister must have believed you. She did something wrong. That's why he left her. Now let me ask you. Are you cheating on me? Why would you say such a thing? Why won't I say that? He's your friend. I mean, you, go, you guys act alike. Beds of the same feet that they say flock together. So, are you cheating on me? <sighs> Look into my eyes. I love you so much. I have never cheated on you. And I don't have the plans to cheat on you. You are what I want in a woman. You are my heart desire. Mm -hmm. No woman can come between us. Besides, I, I didn't speak with any fact, I only as you. Maybe one day he will open up and tell us why he walked out of the relationship. Oh please, who cares about his stupid reasons? We don't care, my sister has moved on. We don't need him. And let me tell you, the only reason my family is letting him to be in my wedding is because of you. Our wedding? Um, so, the phrase that word. Okay, our wedding. Good. <laughs> it's because of you, really. We don't need him. Honey, thanks for your love, your understanding, and your support. Anything for you, baby. Anything for you. I love you. I love you too. Dare he ridicule me by kissing her in front of me? Making me a laughing stock in the presence of everyone! Why would she choose him over me? Why? It doesn't even match up to my standard! I know I messed up. I know I messed up, but I'm here to make it right. Everything, and I mean everything, to get her back. Nobody, nobody can stop me. I want, I want to, to talk. talk to you. <laughs> okay, you know, come on, sit. Sit, sit, sit. <clears throat> come, come on. Ah. <laughs> so, um, you know what? You go first. Okay? Well, I. I just want to say thank you for today. And uh, also apologize for kissing you at the dinner. What? Oh no, you shouldn't be apologizing. I mean, I, you didn't kiss me. I kissed you and I, and I shouldn't have. I'm really sorry. You know, I, I was caught up in the moment and it just 
felt like the right thing to do, mm. and I did it. But I'm sorry. Mm. Well, the case is not much of a big deal. So. Mm? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh sure, sure. <laughs> it's 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 part of the act. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the act. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's part of the act. I feel relieved. Oh why? Because I thought you'd take it differently. Mm. 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 Yes. Oh no, 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 no. I'm okay. It's nothing. <laughs> it was just one of the accent. No, we're good. We good. No, we're good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're fine. It's nothing. <clears throat> yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, um, uh... <gasps> <clears throat> today is today. The only thing on my mind is the party. <laughs> Instagram go blow hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go pepper them. I, I will you. kill them. I will yes. 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 not yes. 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 go carry your gifts. I'm not there. You need to show them pepper. Uh, now let me uh. show them. Yes. They need to know uh -huh. that my girls and I are oh, oh, boy. Hey, 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 everybody, everybody, shh. My mother in law is gone. Hello, mom. I'm very well, mom. Thank you. I'm doing okay. And you? Hope everything is fine over there. Of course, mom. We're having fun. Oh, not at all, mom. Not at all. All right, mom, I won't hesitate to do that, okay? Thank you, mom. Thank you for checking on us. Thank you for checking on us, mom. I'll call you later, mom. Love you. Bye. Girl, you are so lucky. Your mother-in-law is always checking up on you. Yeah. <laughs> You're on better, oh. Yeah, she is definitely lucky. Wait till you see how she pampers her in person. Then you would understand. I know, right? You can say that again, baby. You can say that again. You can say that again. Please don't be. When I grow up, I want to be like you, Oh, really? Don't worry. You'll be like me. You'll be like me. I give you my blessings. I give you my blessings. I give you my blessings. <laughs> Does it mean he can't remember me? Or he is just pretending? Even if he did, what am I expecting? There's no way he's going to acknowledge we had a one night stand years ago. I have to be very strategic with my plans. I must get his attention. I can't wait to have him to myself, if not just one night before the wedding. In Austin, but. Relax. Ah, I just want to ask you something. Sorry, sorry. See, eh? Look at this. I want to buy this. So, which one would you prefer? This or this? 
That one, please. Which one? That one, don't you understand English? I just said that one, what is it? What's ah. the problem? Why are you shouting at me? It's just a simple question. See, I'm, I'm not in a good mood right now, so behave yourself. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ah. please. Ah. Every time you're always talking. Yeah. Rubbish. Hey. See me see what hell out. I don't blame you. Every time we are already repairing you, I don't even know what's your problem. Yeah, yeah, girl. Let me just go for this one. James, what game are you playing? You can't sleep with me and have my sister. It's not possible. That's insane. Oh. Oh, you think you're the only one who deserves to be happy, right? You'll be sleeping with me and him at the same time. That's not the fact that you know we're like brothers. You want me to leave your sister? Then why do you want to get married to him? Why? You know what? You are manipulative. You are corny. You are self-centered. You tricked me once in sleeping with you and thank God I'm mature now. Leave my sister alone. We both know you don't mean well for her. Leave her alone. Oh, oh look at her. Look at her acting so tough and grown up. Hmm? You're acting so tough and grown up. Just a little touch for me, you don't be in my arms. We both know this. We know what I'm talking about. Okay? I hate you. Mm. I hate your ghost. I hate you. I hate Leave you. my sister alone. I hate the fact that you love me. I don't love you. Oh, please, don't, don't, don't touch me. Leave my sister alone. Leave her alone. Boy. But I like it out here. Hello. And weather is great. The scenery as well. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, so we have got to take this one. What you call this one? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Hi, yeah, hello. Spoken. <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Very nice person. Yes, yes, yes. I remember you. <laughs> we talked. My hand. What is it? James, have you have you gone mad? What is the meaning of this? I'm, I'm sorry, I had to create a scene over there. Okay. But I need us to talk. James, we have nothing to talk about. No, no, that's not true. We have a lot to talk about. I need you to give me listening ears. <sighs> okay, fine. I'm listening. I miss you. I miss us. Would you just give me the chance to make this right, please? You miss me? Yes, I And do. whose fault was that? I understand it was my fault. But I want to make everything right. Just give me the opportunity to do this. Mm-hmm. And your dreams, right? What did you take me for, James? You think I'm a fool? I mean, do you know what I went through the time you left me with no explanation? Do you know what I went through? I searched for you everywhere to just get you to talk to me. But what did you do? James, you blocked me. You blocked me everywhere. I was in a hospital for months. I visited a psychologist. What did I do? What did I do to, to, to deserve such humiliation? What did I, I don't. What did I do? I'm asking you, what did I do to, to get such humiliation from you? What did I do? That's my fault. I'm sorry. I failed you. I failed us. I failed us, please. I want you back. Just forgive me, okay? 
All right. You mad? Really something, something wrong with you? But do you think kissing me will right your wrongs? Is that what you think? Listen, you need to take this your pathetic love elsewhere because I do not need it. No, I'm sorry. Listen, I have a man. I don't need it. I'm very serious. I have a man. And that you know. And you are nowhere half a man that he is. No, don't You're not tell even me close. That. Don't tell me that. Leave here right now. Leave here right now. Not. I want you. Just leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. Leave. Leave now. Just get out. Stay far away from me. I do not need you. Stay far away from me. <laughs> what did I ever do? What did I do to deserve this? Why? Why come back to me? <laughs> I don't need you. I don't ever want to see his face again. <laughs> God, why? <sighs> Jesus. Did you do my Disappointed. Frankly speaking, I am so disappointed with Natasha. I mean, she shouldn't have gone with James no matter what. I want too much a beg. What ah. are you talking about? It's not like she willingly followed him or you didn't see what happened. Your eye they pay you at I beg, I beg, I beg. She should have stopped him if she wanted to. Ah, ah. She just wants all the attention in the world. Mercy. Mercy, what kind of attention are you talking about? Ah. Eh? <laughs> Did you want her to fight him? James is just an axe and very possessive, as he has always been. Mm. Possessive of a woman that is not even his girlfriend. Okay. Like, I'm so pissed. What makes him think that after all he did to her, Natasha would want him back? Really? Oh, he was also thinking that for fighting the boyfriend, she's going to want him back. He must mm. be a joker. <laughs> he should go into the comedy. It is so, so obvious so? that he still wants her back and will never let her be. You see these men? They will always find a way to stem your crystal white. Exactly. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't have anything to say. Cheers. Who cares? Mercy. Mercy. What? Uh -uh. What is it? You're all too much. Can't I say my mind again? You're all too much. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I, I beg you. Please. Very annoying. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, calm down. I didn't mean to fight him. Look, I had to do something. You know, spoil the moment. I just reacted. I'm sorry. Okay? Please. You know I'm ashamed of myself right now. Why? Because my ex-boyfriend is out there acting like a mad dog. Okay. And my supposed boyfriend could not even hold his anger. What is this? 
Should I back game for this embarrassment? No. When I asked you to act as my boyfriend, am I supposed to get this? No. But I wasn't also supposed to just sit back and do nothing. All right? I reacted. It was, you know, spur of the moment. And I had to defend you. Okay? I, I heard that you had attacked you. I had to do something. What were you expecting that Excuse I do? Excuse me. You're supposed to wait. Hold your peace. That's what you're supposed to do. What? I do nothing? No. How will that make me look? Like a freaking weakling in the presence of your family and friends. Like a stupid man who is a damn fool for not being able to stand up and protect the woman that he claims that he loves. Natasha, that is not who I am. I, I, I had to do right by you. I had, I had to protect you. I'm sorry if I went too far, but I think that I did the right thing, darling. Come on. Don't you see it? As long as I am here, as your man, as your boyfriend, no one, no one would disrespect you. He was hurting you. I had to do something. Don't you see it? Away from Natasha, please. Hey, bro, come on, take a chill pill. All I did was take my girlfriend out of the party for a conversation. So what's wrong with that? Your girlfriend? Maybe I need to refresh your memory. James, you lost that girl the very day you dumped her and traveled out of this country, James. You lost her. So stop acting like a child. Oh, no, no, you're my friend. You should understand how I feel, James. Why is it so difficult for you to accept the fact that she has moved on? Why? All right. Look, you're my good friend. Please, talk to me like a good friend. Maybe I will understand. Tell me why you talked to her. Maybe I will understand why you're acting up. You really want to know? I don't think it's something you want to know. James, you're my good friend. We've come a long way. Talk to me like your brother. Please. Oh, baby. Baby, baby. Um, please, just let it go. This man is bent on destroying my family. I know that. Honey, no, no, let me hear you. No, no, no. No, no, come on, you know that's not true. You know that's not true. Let's go. I know I hurt your sister, right? I know I hurt your sister. You're bent on destroying my family. You know that. Let's go. I understand I hurt your sister, but come on, I'm trying to make it right. Come on, Joseph, I'm trying. Auntie, I'm telling you, he literally fought Natasha and her boyfriend. Honestly, I feel like we should do something to make him not come to the wedding. I don't feel comfortable with him being there. I knew it. That boy is up to no good. He is out to destroy my daughter's happiness. And I will not sit back and watch him win. I will talk to my son-in-law. He should find someone else. That is the best thing to do. Okay, ma'am, I'll, I'll keep you updated. All right, bye. I warned you about it, but you said I was overreacting. Now see, look, causing a whole thing 
pool party, embarrassing and disgracing me in the presence of my friends. I warned you, I told you, it was a bad idea to choose that guy as your best about No! Hell no, you refuse to listen to me. Now look, our wedding is a few days time. Few days time and he's already causing problem. Listen, we do not need him. He has to go. We have to let him go. He just has to go. Joseph, are you listening to me at all? I am sorry. I can't do that. What's the meaning of you can't do that? How? Why? I don't get it. Did you see what happened at the pool party? Okay, fine. What if he continues to chase after my sister? What will happen? That would be so unfair on the part of Harry. Please, think about it. My love. Please, I want you to see reasons with me here. Okay, I'm listening. James has been my good friend. Mm -hmm. A childhood friend for that matter. Mm -hmm. James has always been there for me. True. And so there is no way I will not be for James of finding love in a woman he cherished so much. Honey, I will go there and want him to stay away from my daughter. That man is devil's incarnate. He's an enemy of progress. I will not allow him to destroy my daughter's happiness. Never! See, that won't be necessary. Hmm? He hasn't got into that. Let's leave Natasha to handle him. Honey, you talk as if you don't know your daughter anymore. You know how vulnerable she can be. That boy has no good intentions. For Natasha. Well, let's hear from Natasha. Maybe they are trying to work things out. Work things out? How can you say that? If they work things out, what then happens to the handsome young man she brought home the other time? I don't even want to think about it. Well, I, I understand. But let's stay here from Natasha. And remember, it's Victoria's pre-wedding party. And I don't think it will be good to go cause unnecessary strain out there. Williams. Did I hear you say unnecessary sin? Oh, going there to stop him. You call it unnecessary. William, sometimes I wonder the way you, 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 you talk sometimes. Eh? I told you what the boy did. And you're saying I'm going there to go. Oh my God. In fact, I will not allow him to succeed. I must stop him. That boy has no good intentions for my daughter. I can't let him destroy my daughter's happiness. It's not possible. Listen, you have to cancel the appointment for the day, okay? Listen, don't tell me what to do. If you cannot cancel the appointment tomorrow, then fix it. I mean, why am I paying you? Are you not my event planner? Please, from now on, I want you to handle whatever I... Yes, who's there? Like I said, you have to handle whatever I got you. Hi. I'll call you back. Can I be okay? Well, Vic, I know you're still upset with what happened at the party. Listen, it wasn't my fault. Things just blew out of proportion that, that went out of my control. I'm sorry. I organized this pre-wedding get-together to have fun with my friends. 
if I get to the new chapter of being Miss Joseph. It took me months to convince Joseph to do this. And now we're here. Now I am here to achieve my desire, but hell no! You, my sister, will not let me shine! Now tell me, how can I be okay? If you come on, you know this is not my fault. You know it. You are my sister and I want you happy. I am here to celebrate with you. That's why I am here, Victoria. I can't do that intentionally. You know. Listen, I don't want us to be longer hurt with each other. I do not want that. So I am here to just make you a promise. I'm going to you no problem again. I promise. Hey, sis. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, I know it's not your fault. Victoria is not around. She is stepped out with her sister. I know. I am not here to see Victoria. I am here to see you. Me? Yes, you. <laughs> you are just a pretender. Come on. My man, I heal you. <laughs> For a moment, you fooled me. Well, I guess you never wanted your fiancé to know about it. I don't understand. Know about what? Oh, come on. Why are you pretending? You shouldn't be. All right, let me freshen your memory. Five years ago in Abuja at Cabana Nightclub, although you were drunk, but you took her home. You complimented and you told her how good she was in bed. You wanted to see her again, but she left in a hurry. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. I, I remember that was a long time ago. I know, I know. I haven't forgotten. You know, I want you. No, stop this madness now. Stop. Get out of my room. Stop! Stop me! coming from is none of your business. Why are you only sneaking around? What is wrong with you, Ella? <laughs> okay. 
It is going to be my business. By the time I tell Victoria that you're coming out from my fiance's room. What? He must be joking or something. Oh, try me. Ella. Ah, ah. You won't do your body. You'll make it calm down. You should be, be calming down now. I only went to see Victoria, but her fiance said she went out with her sister. That's all. So why are you behaving as if you're up to something? <laughs> Not seeing Jerry. I was only trying to pull your legs to know your reaction. Fine girl. Ella, Ella. <laughs> your body to bites you every time you're always sneaking around. Please, let's go, Jerry. Hey, what if he tells Victoria? Oh my god, I am finished. Messy. So you cannot control yourself because you saw a handsome man. God. What if the girls find out that I am trying to seduce Victoria's husband? Of course, they will not take it lightly with me. Eh? Definitely, they will call me a husband snatcher. Oh my God, what do I do now? What do I do now? Ah, God, I need to find a way. Yeah, you bless you, I will apologize, give up. I think that would be better. Oh my goodness, Ella! Why are you sneaking around? What is wrong with you? For general room. Me sneaking around. I don't understand. I just opened the door and walked in. What are you trying to say? You just opened the door and walked in. You couldn't have knocked and waited for a response. What is wrong with you? For whom when me and you they share? This don't be your papa house, so I'm not even your I better get out! What's the come around? Ella! Your hair they worry you, they crazy? Say knock. I don't go answer you now. I will not blame you. Rubbish. I bet she better enter the bed, Joe. You cannot knock. Yeah. Rubbish. The wedding is um is close, yeah. Guy, guy, I know one look for you, no stories. I no one look for you at all, at all. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'll be expecting you. Yeah, James is around. James has come, yeah. All right. Hey baby. Oh, <laughs> oh, how are you? My love. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Mm -hmm. Are you? Very well. <laughs> so, were you able to get what you need? Yes, I did. And thank you for the shopping. Oh my God, it's lightened my mood. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I'm glad when I'm able to put a smile on your face. Oh, and I'm sorry for pouring my frustration on you. I guess it's the wedding fever. It's okay. Forget about that, okay? Thank you. Um what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? That your friend. Uh Messi. Okay, Messi. Messi, yeah. How long have you known her? Oh we went to the same school together. She moved to Abuja. Well we've been communicating. So she's here just because of her wedding? Of course, yes. Why? Why are you asking? Did uh, she do no, something? No, no, no. I uh, just asking, you know, I know virtually all your friends, but I don't know anything about her. Oh, I guess. So just, 
I guess, I guess I understand. She moved to Abuja, that's why you've not seen her. Um, baby, I need to go. Let me catch up with the girls. They, we need to check out the things I bought, you know? Mm. And then we intend playing the game, shoot or there. Hey, honey, be very careful. Don't reveal our secrets. Oh, don't you trust me anymore? That's not baby. I won't get carried away. Don't be scared. That's All right, nice. darling. All right, baby. Mm. Bye bye, catch ya. Love you, baby. All right, then. Uh, Don't drink too much. Not Don't really. Drink too much. Nah. All right, darling. Look at this. Look at this. What do you think? What do you think? Oh. Don't you trust me? Move up, whatever. Move, move, move. Don't you trust me? Wait, wait, wait. I made the right choice. I know what I want, and I go. Mm. Yes. You like all these, so. You know me very well. Yes. Oh, this is. Stop, Where are you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course. Now, <laughs> my name. Now, what do you think? Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, ladies. Um, I'm sorry. I, I don't intend to take up um, much of your time. I just want to have a word with with Natasha. <clears throat> Listen, Natty, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have disrespected you the way I did in the presence of your friends. And that is why I thought it wise to also come out here and apologize to you in the presence of your friends. My love, baby, please. Forgive me. Okay. I'm sorry I went overboard on the day. I'm sorry I, I took things out of context and I, I shouldn't have. I'm human. I'm not infallible. I'm just as imperfect as everyone else. But please, for the strength of our friendship and for how you know I feel about you, forgive me. I'm sorry. That, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You're forgiven. Just, just get up. Mm. Get up. Are you sure? Come on, get off, silly. Get up. <sighs> just get, get up. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry, ladies. I, um. You know what? I'm out of here. Okay, I, I guess I'll see you again soon. Yes, sir. Huh? So? Can I? Sorry. See you later. See you later. Yeah. Okay, now that is the most romantic thing ever. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. You are damn lucky, babe. So lucky. That's how she was pretending. Yeah. If you like, use this bubble now, you sabi. Me, I'm taking already. Don't you want to be taken like me? No. Don't you want to be taken like me? If you like, use now, you sabi. No, 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 but it's the truth. So Why is she styling? Oh, girl. Girl, I've told you this before. This is the man for you. Same man now. Yes, right. Full of Sean. Yes. yes. Please help me and tell her. Uh, 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 now. Even with my yes. hair, I'm not to Tell her. Tell her. Yes. Now he's... Henry is the man for you. Yes. He's a keeper. Mm -hmm. He's a gentleman. Sure Girl, help me and seal this deal. Seal it, baby. Seal this deal. Seal it, baby. 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 No, no, I, I, I can't do that. You know, I thought that I'd gotten over her all this while. I've seen her again. Trust me, I'm not going to let her slip off my hands the second time. You can get Natasha back again. What makes you think you can get her back? Come on, James. Do you need a soothsayer to tell you that Natasha has moved on? If she hasn't moved on, she would have been here with another man, knowing very well that you'll be here as well. 
No. I know what I felt when I kissed her. She, she's only here with that guy just to get me jealous. I sense it. See, I, I know this is making you comfortable. You understand? But I have to do this to get my woman back. And I'll do everything to get her back. I know it's going to be warm having him around, but trust me, I'm ready to go for it. I'll have that. You will do anything to get her back. Oh, yes, I will. I need her. Huh? Can, can you see how beautiful? My heart keeps racing. I... My mind was awake. Thoughts running through my mind. My heart keeps beating back and forth. And with all of that, it's very difficult for my brain to shut down and sleep to come. It's not my fault. I must have stressed you without realizing it. I'm sorry. Please, can you just get up from there and come to bed? Please. You want me to come join you? Yes. Please. You're sure about it? Huh? I'm very sure. you to forgive me. I know I've not been the man I've always wanted me to be. I disappointed you when you needed me most. I hurt your feelings. I understand how you feel. I need you to give me the opportunity to make it right this time. I miss us. Let bygone be bygone. Please forgive me. Don't turn your back on me. Please. I beg you. I'm sorry, I can't do this. No, no, please, don't, 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 please, I beg you. Don't walk out of me. Please. I can't, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do this.
What do you want? You know, you look amazing. That doesn't answer the question. How long do you want us to keep debating on this? How do you think your sister would feel if she gets to find out about this wicked scheme of hers? It's no scheme, my love. Don't touch him. Don't, don't, don't. It's love. What? Besides, I don't see no wedding rings on those beautiful fingers of yours. So I stand a chance. You know what, just leave. <laughs> you know, coffee, they say, is best taken when it's hot. And I'd advise you to sleep on this one while it's still hot. Instead of wallowing in the dark with that woman of easy reach. Did you just call your sister a woman of easy virtue because of me? Uh, what else am I supposed to call somebody who just accepted James's proposal? Okay. Is that all you're going to say? The question is, what do you want? He's asked you to marry him. Do you want to marry him? What do you want, Nat? That's the question here. I'm not sure. You know what I think? I think that you should give yourself a chance with someone new. Oh yeah. You know, with a new person. A new start. A new guy. Someone fresh. I think that would do you a lot of good. And what is the guarantee that this new man will not break my heart? No guarantees, actually. When it comes to relationships, there are no guarantees, actually. You know, there is no guarantee that this new guy would be perfect. But it would be worth the try it. Would be worth the attempt. Because if I were in your shoes, I would attempt to find love in a new form other than going back to James. God, I am. Uh, I am so confused right now. Do you love him? Maybe, or... I don't really know what I feel right now. I think I know what you should do. And that will be you getting your emotions and tied to a bit all over the place, you know, you're... You... You feel the desire... So strong. To be loved. But I don't think it's love. I think it's an obsession. You know, a strong desire to be wanted and loved by this man. But no. I think that what you need is a fresh start. Because going back to him would be a terrible idea. That man does not deserve you. Why are you bent on ridiculing my life? Why? The one thing I asked of you, you refused to do it. Now let me ask you a question. If 
my sister ends up taking you back. What's next? I will marry her. Hell no, you will do no such thing. Not while I'm alive. My God, why are you such a monster? We both know you don't love my sister. The only reason you're doing this is to torment me. And trust me, I won't let you deceive my sister in taking you back. No, I won't let you do that. What are you scared of? Why is it such a big deal that your sister and I are getting back together? What would you do if I get to win your sister back? What are you planning with that fine head of yours? Let that be my headache. You think I want to be single and miserable? You think I don't want a happy ever after? Or maybe I'm obsessed with some guy who led me on for years and out of the blues shattered my heart. No explanation whatsoever. He walked away like we never existed. Like there was no us in the first place. Listen to me, Nat. First and foremost, it was never out of the blues. Okay? <laughs> it was not sudden. It has always been there. But you were too blind emotionally to see it and address it. Let's go on. And secondly, when you're finally ready to let go of all your past hurt and pain and seek the happily ever after, you will know. Yes, you're right. Mm. I'm not ready. Yeah. I agree. You're not ready. Don't touch me. I said, don't touch me. Stop it. Honey, what is the problem? You seem not to be in a good mood lately. I'm not in a good mood. I am not in a good mood. Is it not your friend? He won't let my sister be. He knows how vulnerable my sister can be and he's taking advantage of that. My love, let me talk to you, okay? Okay. They are adults. Let them be. They know what they want for themselves. Please. Is this what you have to say? You know, I don't know why I'm even talking to you about this. Oh, 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 oh. So it has been your plan all along to get both of them together. Yes. No wonder you insisted that James must be your best man. Honey, please, stop. Stop. No, please don't tell me to stop. 
Don't even do that. You know, I feel so stupid that I allowed you to talk me into accepting James as your best man. Now go back and tell him that his plans have failed because he's not welcome into my family. Baby, you, you, you have to take it easy. You're just accusing me wrongly. Please. the gods to step your foot into my house. What do you want? Good afternoon, ma'am. Answer Sir. the question. What are you doing in my house on your wife? Um, um, choose your words carefully. Any wrong answer can lead you to your early grave. Sir, I firstly I want to say I'm deeply sorry for whatever pain I made your family go through. I know there's no justification for whatever I did to your daughter. I I know she must have been through a lot of emotional trauma. And you both have every right to be angry with me. You can do whatever you want to do to me. I know I deserve it. I don't want to be pitied. I, I just realized that I still love your daughter. I don't want to marry her this time. I want you both to give me the opportunity to make it right this time. And I promise I'm not going to hurt her again. I actually came here to, to ask for you. Your blessings. Oh my God. Sir, like seriously? You obviously do not have shame. Yes! You don't have any shame at all. Oh, you have the nerves to walk into my house to ask for my daughter's son in marriage. After what she went through because of you. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, you said you want to marry my daughter. Honey? Yes, sir. And I promise, I promise never to alter her again. Hmm. Young man, I take it that you are still very young and unwise to have come into my compound to ask for my daughter's hand in marriage. And before I lose my temper, I want you to leave this place in Good peace. I will go inside right now and get my gun. I swear, I'll make sure you lay down there. Now get out. Okay, wait for me. I, 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 I'm not your daughter, sir. I, I want to... Oh, please. Listen. Listen and listen, go. I don't want your filthy blood be stained on our hands. Leave my house. Get out of this place before my husband comes out with his gun. You will be dead. Please. You will be dead. Leave my house now. Please, I want your daughter. I honey, will you. honey, I want to, I want to, I want to honey, 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 Maybe you won't even have an urge if I had to turn back with a bullet wound or probably dead. Well, what were you expecting? Were you expecting them to welcome you with open arms after treating their daughter the way you did? Oh, come on. I know I've made mistakes. But that was in the past, four years ago. You don't need to keep reminding me, man. I didn't make mistakes. I'm here to make it right. James, <sighs> I've always known you were cheating. I knew, yeah. But well, I decided to pretend like I wasn't in, in the picture. I know everything what you do. You knew? 
Of course. So you never confronted me. So Victoria, did you? No, 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 no. I, I didn't tell her. Though she asked several, she wanted to know why you parted away with Natasha. Well, you know, you know the point is, I wasn't hundred percent sure what you did, uh, how you did it, or the girl you did it with. You know, you know, say my guy James. You know, tell me, who be that people you banged that day? I tell me, man to man, you understand? My guy. I, I really don't want to talk about it. Okay? It's, that's your string. Uh. Hey, sis. So I. So we finally agreed to take him back. After all, they made you go through. Don't you have shame? What? What? No! I mean, I'm yet to give him my response. I haven't done that yet. Oh, please stop lying. I just got off the phone with mom and she told me James went to the house to seek your hand in marriage. James went to the house. Oh, please stop pretending. Just would go to the house to seek your hand in marriage without your consent. So stop giving me this. He went to the house. Stop standing here and lie to me. What is this? What reason do I have to lie to you? Maybe you should tell me. I mean, if James went to the house, I know nothing about it. He did that without my consent. And seriously, I am going out there to ask him why he went to the house without telling me. Yes, I have to do that. You really need to do that. You have to do that. Hey, 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 hey. You need to stop. Don't you ever. Don't, don't, don't stop. What is this? Don't you ever do this again. Don't ever raise your voice at me next time. Because you, next time you do it, you will not like my actions. And I mean it. Excuse me. Stop pretending! Stop pretending! How can you say you don't know James went to the house to seek you? How is that even possible? Stop pretending! I know the games you're about to pull, I know it! And I'm ready for it! Just imagine, she's just a liar! Jealousy. Liar! James, you. I will get to the root of this. I will. Hi. Congratulations to you. Finally got what you wanted. Right? So I'm just getting my things together. I have to leave. Mary, please. You don't make it look like I was desperate to get back with him, please. Oh, what? Were you not? Because from where I stood, it looked like it. Were you not desperate to get back with him? What are we talking about? Like I said, I've done my job, okay? At least I played a part in helping you get him back. So now it's time for me to go. Get out of the picture. Listen, listen. What you saw was a mistake. Trust me. Then we we're just talking and all of a sudden he just started kissing me. And you kissed him back! But it's fine. I get it. I understand. It's okay. How about the wedding? We need to attend my sister's wedding together. Please. Oh no, you don't need to attend no wedding with me. Alright, you have James now. And so that is settled. But that's not what I want. 
told her I have not even made up my mind getting back. What do you want, Natasha? What do you want? Leave me the hell alone. What do you want? This minute you are crying to me. Tell me how badly he treats you. And the next minute you're all up in his arms, kissing and snuggling. What do you want? Is that what you long for? Do you need to be touched so badly that you couldn't resist falling so cheaply for the devil, Natasha? Doing there. Just appeared from nowhere and ruined my chance. I wish I wish I could just I could just see him right away and, and squeeze squeeze the life out of the room with my bare hands. Ashamed. I feel like slapping her head so bad. I really don't like the way this thing is going. Just look at Henry. I feel so bad for him. I beg you, leave Natasha alone. She knows exactly what she is doing. When I told you girls earlier on, you wanted to bite my head off. Huh? Now, why is Natasha kissing James? Tell me, what is her reason? Of course, she's using them to catch crews. Yes. To think that the idiot even had the guts, the effrontery, the audacity to insult me when I was talking to him about it. That I should mind my business and not interfere in other people's uh, relationship and I can't get myself a man. What nonsense. <laughs> Where is the lie? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Lillian, please, don't mind her. I'm sure she doesn't mean to be rude. See, 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 see. I am sick and tired. I beg eh, make this wedding come go. I don't tell you, I want to start going to my house. Did they put a gun on your head? Uh -huh. Go now. I go go now. Gone? I will leave you, John. Carry your while and go. Rubbish. I'm gonna leave you girls. Go. They're just the negative vibe. Mm. Oh, you don't know say I did pepper body before. Pepper body. This look. They worry about something. What is it? Talk to me. Come on. Yes, I am worried. Honey, do you think we did the right thing by sending that young man away? The devil we know is better than the angel. We do not know. Come to think of it, what if he has truly changed and wants to marry our daughter? Henry looks like a good man, but he has not really asked our daughter to marry him officially. I did not turn James down because of what he did to my torture. It's just that um, my spirit doesn't agree with him. Nani, don't you think we should reconsider our decision? Hmm? 
daughter Natasha is not getting any younger. I want her to marry as soon as possible. Well, um, see, there's nothing to reconsider. In fact, I do not want him anywhere near my daughter. Natasha will get married at the right time. Okay. This is so. You worry too much, okay? okay? Everything will sort out itself. Don't let us worry ourselves, okay? Hmm? Oh. Babe, when are you coming? Listen, my brother's shower is by 10 p.m. and you're not here yet. All right, all right, be coming. No problem, just come. Come, come, come. 10 p.m. All right then. Okay, I'm expecting you. Please be coming. Ah. Okay, all right. All right, bye. Bye. Baby, uh, why are you like this? Are you okay? No. Baby, are you okay? What is it? What's the problem? This issue between James and Henry is really getting out of hand. Can you imagine that Henry almost crashed our car by the hotel gate? Was he drunk? No, he wasn't drunk. I think it was an intentional act. As a sign of warning to James to take care from Natasha. Ah. Uh, you see? I told you. I warned you. I begged you, you refused. And you insisted that that man, boy, whatever, must be your best man. Now see, our wedding is tomorrow and someone almost ran you over. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. But how will I know that I had the intention of getting back with your sister? No, just the other day we were talking, he admitted the fact that he actually cheated on your sister. Then I paused to ponder, how would you cheat on someone? And you still went back to the same person you cheated and treated so badly. Mm. <laughs> you mean he, he told you himself now that he cheated on my sister yes sir he told me by himself but i'm worried i'm worried because uh, if he can do it the first time i will still do it again um, did he did he tell you who the girl was no nah. i didn't ask him i don't even want to know that is just a cup of tea. I don't want to know. Please, I don't want that. Hey, baby, uh, do you know what Messi said? She said he bought a lot of drinks for me to get high. That today I'm going to get high for you. <laughs> oh, please leave me alone. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I really need to get high for what. James, you're more than a monster. Are you too blind to see that this thing you are doing is about to end all of us? I mean, for crying out loud, there are a lot of girls out there that are willing to be with you, but no. You refuse to leave my sister alone. Leave my sister alone. You can never have her again. Leave her alone. Did your sister tell you that? She doesn't want to be with me. Are you just talking? Oh, please, jealous my foot. Jealous of what? I'm only trying to protect my sister from a monster like you. Now listen to me. Whatever plans you have in that tiny skull of yours will never work. I will make sure of it.
Why are you bent on getting me out of the way? Oh, are you scared that your little secret might get exposed? Or you still want me all to yourself? I knew it. I knew it. You still... You still fast for my touches. Looks to me like your mind is made up. Yes. I want to give him a second chance. Ah. Listen. I know you might not agree with me on this. But this is a risk that I'm willing to take. I still love him. <clears throat> this desire, this feelings I'm having inside of me, Henry, just want to let it out. Just let it out. Natasha, if I tell you that I am in love with you, will it make you change your mind? Skip. It's a joke, stop. I'm not joking. Listen, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Okay? I... You're special to me. You always have been special to me, okay? I have just been struggling with, with finding the right time to let you know, but please, please, just, just give me a chance, okay? Okay, I have, I have always felt this way, but please, don't go back to him. That man does not deserve you. Give me a chance to treat you like you deserve. Why are you telling me this now? Because I've always been scared, you know. I've been scared that coming out with with something like this, you know. You know what? Telling you something like this would scare you off. You know, I, I, I don't want to lose your friendship. I don't. What we have is special, Nat. Please. Look, 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 look! Don't, don't even make that face right now. I'm not. I'm not in any way taking advantage of your vulnerable state. No, I've always felt this way. I've always loved you. I've always wanted to say this to you. Okay, but, but I'm saying it now, and I need you to take me seriously. Please, this is how I, I truly feel. I love you. For real. I can't. I, I can't be with you and I have feelings for another person. It's not possible. I still have feelings for James. I pick you. Listen, you see all this? Can, can you just drop it? We are better of this way, just friends. Please. Yeah. It's okay, it's fine. What, one thing I really want for you is happiness. So if going back to him will make you happy, who am I to stand in your way? So, yeah. Thank you. Friends for life. Listen, your support means so much to me. Thank you. Already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you pretending like you don't want me? You're not jealous because your sister is going to have me all to herself. I know that's the reason why you just want to stop me. I can't make love to you one more time before you walk down the aisle. Just say it. Ask for it. You're the most corny human alive. Your hypocrisy amazes me. 
Were you not with my friend when you were sneaking into my bed? If only Natasha knew you were the one I was cheating on her with. I wish she knew you're the cause of her pain. I wish she knows how evil her beloved sister is. Sit with me, claiming to be holier than thou. You know what? Just get out of my room. Get out! You. I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. He made me do this. He made me do this. He forced me. He forced himself on me. Please, 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 please. Please, please. Victoria, how could you? I ask you, how could you? We are blood sisters. How could you do this to me, Victoria? <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Please forgive me, but you know what? You can all be happy. No. I have him to yourself no, no, no. because. I please, 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 I beg you, I beg you, please, please forgive me. No. Please, I, please, just forgive please. me. Just stop me one more time. Just this once, please, I beg you. You just have, must not hear about this. I don't want to lose it. Please, 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 please. Come on! I'm sorry. Sis, sis. you're looking at your phone and smiling. I hope all is well. Yes, ma'am. I thought you were supposed to do some laundry. I'm done, ma'am. What about the cooking? I'm done, too. Hey. This is serious. So fast? Yes, ma'am. This sound like you. This your boss's wedding has just changed you. <laughs> Mommy. My joy knows no bound. Speaking of the wedding, I'm confused on what to get for him tomorrow. I've been scrolling and searching through my phone, but I haven't seen anything that I'm satisfied with. So, Mom, tell me, what does he like? You want to buy him a gift? Mm-hmm. Do you have money? Mm, I've been saving up for this day. I just want to appreciate such yourself for everything he has been doing for me. Gift. Me. You're such a nice person. I am happy having you around. Thank you, Ma. I owe you and such yourself a lot. So, Mom, back to my question. What does he like? A gift. Uh, don't worry. We'll talk about that one later, okay? Joe, go and get me uh... some food. Someone come and whisper in my ear and tell me that I'm dreaming. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. What? What's it? Where are you going? Why are you crying? What is it? Please, where are you going? Of course, I'm going home, but you are crying. Please. Talk to me. What is it? Please, just, just wait for me, please. Wait, let me get my bag in it. Just, you don't need to leave here, please. Okay, let me just get my bag. I don't know that you hate me. That is why you play me. And take me for true. You betray. 
am finding it difficult to process what just happened. How could you? How could you do such a despicable thing to your own sister? You know how much you love James and yet you had the guts to have an affair with him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt her. I'm sorry. I mean, where was your conscience? What you did was pure wickedness. To think that you were behind her pain all this while. I can't even begin to look at you right now. It was the devil. It was the devil. I was stupid. Please. Please, you have to help me. Please help me. I beg you. Help me. Help you. What do you want me to help you do? What you did is shameful. To think that you're even about to marry his best friend is what is unthinkable. Did you even, did you even think of what would happen when you said yes to know about this? No, 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 I beg you. He must not find out about this. I beg you, please. Please, I beg you. Please. Lizzie, please, you have, you have to help me. You have to help me. Please, help me talk to Natasha. She will listen to you. Please. What do you want me to say to her? Oh, wait, wait. I'll just go and tell her. Oh, it was no big deal. They just had sex. Or oh, I should tell her not to tell your parents. Or oh, Joseph's parents. Is that what you want me to say to her? You know, I knew you were wicked. I knew you were mean. But this, this is pure evil. Please, please. Please, I cannot afford to lose Joseph. I beg you. I love him so much. I love him so much. I don't want to lose him. If he hear about this, it will damage him. Exactly. You should have thought of that before opening your legs. Please, 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 you're asking me how? <laughs> because he could not withstand sleeping with her while in a relationship with Natasha. What a triangle. She was having an affair with her sister's boyfriend, who happens to also be her boyfriend's best man. What was she even thinking? <laughs> Of course, she didn't know that her secret was going to get exposed. Kama is a bad bitch. God, I just, I just wish that at the end of everything, this wedding will still go through. Seriously. Which wedding? If now you, you go green marry person when sleep with your best friend. Answer me. Honestly. Which uh, one is leave that thing? It's, it's bad. I know. Victoria and James, they actually deserve each other. Hmm. They, they do deserve. What? Well, well, they don't even have conscience. What kind of rubbish is this? <laughs> Pretenders do the worst. She is in there shedding crocodile tears. Shameless idiots. Oh, what is wrong with you? Why? Which one is what is wrong with me? Ah, ah, to allow me to talk now. Let me speak out my mind. Ah, you like everything going on here, really? What's your business? You never seem to happen to help any situation at all. Which situation now? What is it? I beg, don't put me off the mood, please. Yeah, Nicole. Cool. I can't stand you. Jesus. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh, no, all I want is for you to just tell me what you're bringing for me as my wedding. That's all. <laughs> okay, hold on. I, I'll get back to you. Hold on. What do you want? Mercy. I ask again. What do you want? 
But I've told you I don't want to have anything to do with you. So please, I will advise you to make use of that before Victoria gets back. Please. Why do you care about her so much? It's not like she's been faithful to you. Are you trying to cook up something so I can lay with you? Is that what you want to do? Are you that cheap or what? Or you want me to believe what you're trying to say? I like you so much. And I am not denying the fact that I like you. I wasn't lying that your fiancé is cheating on you. You can go ahead and ask her. <laughs> Mercy. What kind of a friend are you? How do you think your friend will feel when I tell her that her own friend is trying to seduce her man and lay with her man? One of her brighter train. Of course, Joe. I like you so much. I cannot get the thought of you out of my mind. I promise I will keep this a secret, please. Stop, 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 stop this madness. Stop. I guess you're mad, right? Get out of my room now. Get out! All right. Fine. I will leave. But I wasn't lying when I said your fiancé is cheating on you. With your friend. Yes, she's having an affair with your friend. Her sister's ex. Boyfriend. Victoria is the reason he broke up with her. Is that all you've got? Do you have any more thing to say? Get out. I said, get out before I lose it. Stupid. Did I ask for your opinion? The next time you try this rubbish, I will report you to the management. Forgive me, sir. I'm sorry. You should be sorry for yourself. Me, but get out of my sight! Rubbish. It's not true. What is not true? I don't understand. 
Don't pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Baby, I don't know what you're talking about. How will I know? Why do you have to do this to me? <sighs> Baby, you're getting me confused. Do what to you? I loved you with everything I have. Of course, you're more than good to me. I've done everything good in my powers to put a smile on your face. In all the years that I have known to you, I have never betrayed our love. <laughs> What do you? Why do you have to cheat on me? Why? I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you everything. <laughs> I go extra man to make sure I put a smile on your face. To every humanly possible <laughs> to make sure that my love for you never for one day deem repeat. <laughs> of all the good men in this world, of all the good men sitting in this world, do you see a man to cheat on me? <laughs> do we believe to yourself? You still so low. That's With my own best friend James. Why? She never loved me as much as I loved you. I'm sorry. Can you have to do this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
You know what? You can have her. Both of you deserve each other. No. Go ahead and have her. No, no, no Joe. Joe, trust me, Victoria loves the, you. Don't do, 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 you trust your brother. I did everything for you. Go ahead and marry her. Marry her tomorrow. I paid for everything. Take it as a wedding gift. No, don't do this. Congratulations. No, wait, no, 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 no. Don't. Don't touch me. She, she, she loves you tomorrow. Tomorrow's your wedding. Please let me know. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I know you might be wondering what happened back there. But I know you need an explanation, right? Wow. Um. Please. Can we not talk about it now? Because. I am so broken to just say a word. Please let's not talk about it. Not now. It's alright. Whenever you you want to come out with it then. I'll be here. Okay? Do you? 
you care about that when you open your legs wide for that idiot I called my friend to sleep with you? Did you care about that? <laughs> that should have been your thought. <laughs> I beg you. I don't want to do my <laughs> Just get out of my way. <laughs> 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 Listen, crime will not change anything. The damage has already been done. Let's just hope that by morning Joseph changes, changes his mind. If now you, you will agree to change your mind just like that. What she did was terrible. In fact, horrible. Having an affair with her fiancé's best friend. I mean, who does that? Ha! God forbid. Ah, mercy. Uh -huh, what is it? Mm, what? I think you, Reverend Sister, Virgin Mary of her time. See, this is not the time to start apportioning blames. We know that what she did was wrong, but you can't keep on blaming her now. Eh? We are all not perfect. She has already admitted her mistake, so what? Please. She's right. What I did was awful. It's a long time ago. I don't know what I was doing as a bad time. I hurt my sister, I know that. And I hurt a good man that has been good to me. You know what? Uh, this should actually serve as a lesson to all of us. We need to be very careful of how we live our lives. Because karma has a way of always getting back at us, especially when we least expect it. There's nothing to be said. Thank you. Now you are talking. Joseph is too damaged. And I don't blame him. I don't. I don't deserve him. So the wedding, our parents, the guests, what are we going to say to them? I mean, how do we even begin to explain this to them? I don't know. I don't know. I know my dad. They'll be so disappointed. It was bad. It's okay. 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 Honey, where are you? It's almost 8 30. You know, it's a bad omen when the parents of the bride come late to church. Where are you? What's the problem? Calm down and tell me what happened. <laughs> they said there's no wedding again. What? The wedding has been cancelled. You said so? I, I just got off the phone now with Sandra, the event planner. She told me the wedding has been cancelled. How, how, how can they cancel Hi. the wedding without her knowledge? Hi, honey. Maybe you didn't hear them well. No, no. She said it was just her. That God has to call the vendors. But there's no more wedding. The wedding has been cancelled. No, that's not possible. <laughs> oh my God. My name is not so silly. Hi. Please, 
Please let me hear them. Please let me hear them. Let me hear them. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Yes? What nonsense am I hearing? What's going on? What? Joseph! Joseph! Someone come and whisper in my ear and tell me that I'm dreaming. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. I don't want to believe someone I trusted with my all took me for granted. Took me for granted. You betrayed me. I don't know that you hate me. That is why. Why did he choose my sister? Why? I wish I had answers, man. No. Whatever the reason is behind that action is not worth it. I, I can tell you that. Search me, we don't know, but whatever your sister's reason is for doing this to you, it's not worth it. painful. It hurts, I know. It's an act of betrayal. What do you see, James? He's an ass. James is an asshole that ha has no respect for women. I hope you see that now. You see it now, don't you? I know, I mean, you, <laughs> who wouldn't be? My heart. My heart is shattered. What is this? Hmm. Betray her from a man you love? Betray her from a sister, Henry? How do I cope with all this? 
Aduh Western, aduh Western. What did I ever do? What did I do to deserve this? What did I do? Nothing, nothing, baby, nothing. It's not your fault, okay? How do I get out of this, Henry? You get out of it. I mean, what did I do to deserve this? What did I ever do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Okay. Hold yourself. Look, I know this is hard. I know it's betrayal, but you have got to get yourself together. Okay. You must learn to stop blaming yourself for other people's misconduct. What has happened is not your fault. Okay. I need you to chin up. You're a beautiful woman. Huh? You're every man's dream. I need you to learn to look at the mirror. And see all that you are. Every man will be happy to have a woman like you. Every man. And you must begin to see yourself the way we all see you. The way I see you. Stop crying. I wish I, I, wish I could just go to sleep. Wake up and just realize this is, this is all a all dream. over, I know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stop, stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. What's keeping the food now? Ah, ten minutes since we came here. I beg, let them fast. I'm very, I'm very, very hungry. I beg. Make it snappy. Mm. Ah, ah. I'm tired of picking their calls. Which can wala be this now? See, Victoria should go and do public announcements because she was the one that caused this problem. Now she no longer keep her wakeus for one place. She just did it. They, they, they sleep with her party best friend. Which kind of nonsense be this one? I shall walk over. Mercy. Ah, I beg some so mercy. In your face. It don't always have to be like this. Now what is it? Eh? We all know she messed up. Yes, but I beg. Cut the girl some slack. We are all not perfect, you know. For the fact that your sins hasn't caught up with you doesn't mean that you're perfect. Please tell her. Please tell her. Mercy, why are you always behaving so perfect? Why are you always behaving like you're the perfect person and without sin? Yes. See, if we carefully look into your cupboard, I could tell you that Victoria will be better than you. Yes. Seriously. See, please, Ella, <laughs> I do not want to have issues with you. Please. I beg you in the name of God, I do not want to have issues with any of you. Both of you are here for me, good friends, Abby. No, tell me. You don't want me to say my mind. Eh? Hey. Wait, uh, where is the food now, eh? God. Ten minutes. Is that time? I mean, I've never seen this kind of thing. I, I, Victoria long. should better keep herself as a woman, not flirting around everywhere. It's okay. Uh -huh. Let me just take my call. Huh. I beg me fast with the food. I'm very uh, hungry. Hello? Chi? Yes, I'm fine. I'm good. It's a sad one, seriously. I guess the wedding has been cancelled till mm. further notice. It's a family issue. I can't discuss that. Yes, yes. I, I, I believe they will make an announcement and maybe shift the date or something till further notice. I believe mm. so. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Take care, okay? Thanks, darling. Bye. <laughs> it's more than 10 minutes. Please, where's the food? I beg. Someone is hungry now. I'm, I'm very sick. Calm down now. It's not your wedding. Sit <laughs> down. I've lost appetite, Seth. I think I have to get going. Ah, just hold on, man. We've already made all that now. Just hold on. Ah, it's just messy that is making everybody angry. She's so annoying. Every time, messy, messy, messy. Someone come and whisper in my ear and tell me that I'm dreaming. I need to wake up. I need to wake up.
And you're telling me you are in charge. Mm. Joseph. Mm. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm in charge. God help me. I'm in charge. I'm God in help charge. me. What kind of thing is this? Mm. Just because of a woman? Son? Son? <coughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? Mm. Oh. oh, you're, you're disturbing my spirit. Gift! Victoria, what is this news I am hearing? Victoria, tell me this is not true. Victoria, how could you? Eh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Victoria, what have we done for you to bring such embarrassment to our family? What have we done to you? Victoria. Go back to where you're coming from. Ah! You are no longer needed here. I said go out of this place. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm hey. sorry. Please don't send That's me away. Me. Daddy, please. You don't want to leave? You're sorry? Did I just hear you say you're sorry? You should be ashamed of yourself, Victoria. You should be ashamed of yourself. See how you brought disgrace upon this family. Victoria, why? Why? What have we done to you? Ah? What is it? Please, Daddy, please. Oh my Victoria, God. I say leave my house. Daddy, please. Oh my God. Please don't send me. We you don't want to leave? Daddy, where will okay, I go? Okay, wait until I get soon. my gun. Daddy, go on. Go on. Go on. Come to this matter now, honey, please. Okay, okay, you, you want to kill Daddy. me and your daughter? Eh? Daddy, please. You want to kill your daughter and I? Is that what you want? Come and kill us. Mommy, Come and kill us. Nobody is above mistake. Mommy, Let's mommy. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mommy. Daddy, please. 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 My name is Samson Sirel in destroying my family. Hey, Victoria! Victoria, kill me! You know, I wish I can say she deserves everything that's happened to her right now. 
But I feel so sad. I just said, called up the wedding. <laughs> I know my sister. Right now, she will be heartbroken. Because marrying yourself was a dream. <laughs> well, she brought this upon herself. You know, a secret like this cannot, <laughs> as a matter of fact, can never be healing forever. Hmm. Yeah. So, if anything at all, I think she should be happy with the turn of events. I mean, now she can find some peace with herself and, you know, attempt a fresh start, if I were her. My family can never be the same again. Well, that's true. And I'm very sure my parents will sure be heartbroken. As for my sister, Lord, I hate her so much. <laughs> There's this so much hatred in my heart for, for that girl. For betraying me, I hate her so much. I hate her that mm. I can't even forgive myself for it. Mm. I hate myself also. No, no. Don't do that. You can't hate yourself. Okay? Stop beating yourself up for other people's faults. I told you that before. Hmm? Which was something I could do to, to take away your pain. But yeah. You know, I am um, actually had them talking one time. Yeah, I knew that they had a relationship. I found out I should have told you, but I I felt it was best not to say anything. Oh, wait. Wait. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, hold no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, you... no, 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 please. Whoa, hold on, hold on. You knew. Henry, wait, wait, wait. You knew. You knew they had a relationship? Yes, I knew about the affair, but I, I, I didn't want to say anything because I was protecting you. I wanted to protect you. I wanted to protect your heart. James, what game are you playing? You can't sleep with me and have my sister. It's not possible. That's insane. Oh, oh, you think you're the only one who deserves to be happy, right? You've been sleeping with me and him at the same time. That's by the fact that you know we're like brothers. You want me to leave your sister? Then why do you want to get married to him? Why? You know what? You are manipulative. You are corny. You are self-centered. <laughs> you tricked me once in sleeping with you and thank God I'm mature now. Leave my sister alone. We both know you don't mean well for her. Leave her alone. Oh, oh, look at her. Look at her acting so tough and grown up. Hmm? You're acting so tough and grown up. Just a little touch for me. You don't be in my arms. We both know this. We know what I'm talking about. Okay? I hate you. Hmm. I hate your ghost. I hate you. I hate you. Leave my sister alone. I hate the fact that you love me. I don't love you. Oh, please. Don't, don't, don't touch me! Leave my sister alone! Leave her alone! I was shocked. I didn't know what to do. I, I, I knew it was unfair. I knew that that affair was unfair. But I didn't say anything because I didn't want to be the reason for the separation. You know, I, I mean between your sister and her fiance at the other end. I, and so I thought it best not to say anything. I'm sorry. I should have told you, but... I didn't say anything. I thought it was wise to just, you know, be quiet about it. I let nature run its course and, and, and then see where we are now. I mean, it's blown up, up in the open and it's, it's not your fault, it's not my fault. You know, you know, these things have a way of coming out. Listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. Just yesterday, I was on my way to telling him that I have accepted his proposal. What of you things didn't turn around? I mean, Henry, you would have allowed me to marry a man that slept with my sister, my own sister, Henry. You allowed me to do that? No. Why? Why did you hide such a thing from me, Henry? Why did you do it? Because I was trying to protect you. Really? Yes. I was, I was, I was trying to protect you from hurting. 
I, I didn't want to hurt you. I'm sorry. You know what? You men are all liars. Oh, come on. I, I can't believe I trusted you. I can't believe it. But of course you can trust me. I, I, I mean, I have never failed you, okay? Look, calm down. It hasn't come to this yet. Just relax, please. Uh, you know what? Okay, please, please. Please, please. please. Do not stop me! Please. Get out of my way. All right. Okay, next time I promise not to hide anything from you. I'll just tell it all. But please don't leave. Get out. Please. Leave my way. Please. Nata. Joseph! I can't still believe that she can do a thing like that. Mom, I wish this is a dream. And I want to wake up from the nightmare. But unfortunately, this is a reality. Victoria cheated on me with my best friend. My best friend who happens to be her sister's boyfriend. Oh my goodness. How could she have allowed the devil to use her? <sighs> but Joseph, are you sure she did it? Mom, mom. This is a consensual affair. Mom, she did it from her heart. Mom, she did this willingly. With all her heart, she gave herself to him. The deed is done. So what is the way forward? Do you have any other plan? No, Mom. The wedding is cancelled. How can I marry a lady who slept with my best friend? I know, James, tomorrow he will come out to brag that he has seen the nakedness of my wife. Mom, that would be a great insult to my personality. I can't take that. You know, from the first time I met Victoria to date, I have never slept with another woman. None. I've never asked any other woman out. It has always been only Victoria. So, Mama, I, I am done with the discussion, Mom. I, I'll be in my room. My daughter, it's okay. Hmm? It's okay. What has happened has happened. Please stop crying. Oh? Sis, please. Forgive. Me. I'm not your sister. Sisters, do not sleep with sisters, man. If you considered me as your blood, we we'll won't be having this conversation. I'm sorry. I was naive. I say, you have no justification for what you have done. You have not. I didn't know what I was doing at, at that time. Oh, yes. You watched me shed tears. I almost committed suicide. Not knowing you, you, you were the one behind my pain. My sister. You have no excuse. There is no way you will fall in a bed with a man without knowing it. 
And obviously, he did not sleep with you. And we all know that. So you, are, you, you know what you did. You did it with your full chest. Without no loyalty. So don't stand there and tell me anything because you have no excuse. You know what? I hate you. And I wish you dead. Natasha! That is too harsh. How can you wish your own sister dead? Your flesh and blood. I know how you feel. I know it hurts. Please, my daughter. Find it in your heart to forgive your sister. Mom, I will not. And you will not make me do it. Natasha! Natasha! Come back here! Let her be. Let her be. Hi. She has every reason to be upset. Victoria, you see what you have cost? I am really disappointed that my daughter had to do something like this. If only you know the enormity of what you did to her, then you will understand why she is hot. Oh. I pray someday. She will come around. She will forgive you. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. But you can listen and help me out. Maybe we can walk around. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe if you listen. Mommy, I'm sorry. I mean to hurt her. Sorry. Avoiding my calls. Please, let's talk man to man. James, don't you ever, ever in your entire life, come anywhere close to me again. Don't. I understand I've messed up. I'm sorry. But we need to talk about this. Talk about what, James? No, tell me, talk about what? James, listen to me. I don't know you. I have never met you my entire life. And please, I don't ever want to have anything to do with you. Guy, avoid me. Please. Oh no, come on, Joe. You can do this. Do you know how long we've come? And you want a woman to put us apart? Victoria is... Are you the James? Never call that name again. Right. Yes, I don't want to hear that name again. Don't! Okay. If you try next time, I swear, I will cut off your tongue. I'll give it to the dogs. Don't! Uh, uh, it's alright, okay. I am worried about our daughters. Natasha cannot hold grudges against her sister forever. We have to do something. Well, she brought the hatred upon herself. 
If not for the love I have for my daughters, I, I, I would have disowned her. I know what Victoria did to her sister was terrible. But she has paid dearly for it. Joseph has refused to see or talk to her ever since they cancelled their wedding. She's also struggling with her own emotions. So what do you suggest we do? I think we should just find a way to make them talk things over. I agree with you. So if there's anything you can do to make that to happen as soon as possible, wonderful. What do you think? It's all right. I need your help too. When it comes. Why are you here? Tell me. Why are you here? I don't expect to see you here after what your daughter did. Baby, please. Calm down. I came here so that we could talk woman to woman. What is there to talk about? Tell me what you want us to talk about. What your daughter did is unforgivable. I know. And I do not applaud her either. I'm very ashamed and disappointed that a daughter of mine could behave in such manner. This is not how I brought them up. I taught my children manners. But please, I'm begging you. Find a place in your heart to forgive her, my friend. My son is heartbroken. And it pains me so much that they have gone sour. <laughs> the problem here is that my son does not want to have anything to do with her anymore. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. What my daughter did is unforgivable. But why even, please? I beg you to help me plead to your son to temper justice with mercy. She's not proud of what she did. She's not, and she's willing to make amends. Please, what I beg is a second chance. Well, <clears throat> if I should let go of everything, what about my son? I think uh, we should give him some time to heal. I understand how the young man feels. I don't blame him at all. Hey! They will not kill me. They will not kill me. It's okay.
Please, I want to speak with you. Sit. Go ahead. Ever since you brought me to the south, you have been good and kind to me. I mean, you saw me through my secondary school and now you still want to sponsor my university education. Gift, if this is what you want to talk about, please, I am not in the right frame of mind right now. I don't see you as a boss, but as a father. And that's why your happiness is my ultimate priority. Gift. So I know I'm not in the right position to talk about your personal life. But as it stands now, your mood is affecting everybody. Gift, I'll be fine. I'll be fine, don't worry. Wait. Anyway, Victoria's... I'm sorry. Mrs. Williams was here earlier, so I apologize on behalf of her daughter. But your mother told her that everything lies in your hands. Sir, I know you still love her. Just accept her back so you can restore your happiness. I am sorry to disappoint you, Gift. You see, this is just like attacking an impregnable fortress. Every fortress has a soft underbelly, provided you know how to find it. And remember, a true god fears no fire. Oh. I want to be left alone. Natasha. Yes, Dad. Why didn't you come down for dinner? Dad, you expect me to sit on the same table with her, to, to, to eat with her? Dad, I wouldn't do that because I do not dine with my enemies. Natasha. Yes, Stop that. Nobody is your enemy in this house. We are one family. Yeah. To you. Yes. We are one family. Mom, family do not stab each other's back. Family do not sleep with your sister's boyfriend. Family watch each other's back. Natasha is enough. Enough! You have dragged this issue for too long. Drop it! Natasha. The sooner you put this behind you, the better for all of us. Please. Well, Dad. Sorry to disappoint you this time. I've never disobeyed you, Daddy, but... This one, I'm sorry. I can't even stand here because I can't stand her sight. Natasha! Forgive me, I'm sorry. 
check you out. Natasha. Nati. Natasha, please open the door. We need to talk. Please. I do not want to talk to you. Please. 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 We can't keep ignoring each other. Please. Yes. I know I hurt you badly. And I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Natasha, just open the door. Let me in. I will not repeat myself whatever your name is. Don't ever come close to my door again. And I mean it. Leave my door! How long you guys were pretending to be in a relationship? Why? <laughs> long story, man. Right? One that I want to get into right now. But see, that's not even the problem. <laughs> problem is different. The problem is that you fell in love with her along the line. Yeah, I have. Truthfully falling in love with Natasha. But she does not want to have anything to do with me. Have you tried going to their house? Oh no. I haven't thought of it. I'm not sure she wants to, to see me at this time. I don't want an argument to ensue and then, you know, create a scene. You know how she can get some time. No, no, come on, Henry. You're the man here. You have to make a move. Go to her house, tell her how much you feel about her. Express your feelings to her. You never can tell. She might forgive you. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'll try. Meanwhile, how are things with you and Victoria? I don't want to hear that name again. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah. I will never go back to her. Wow. She betrayed our love. Someone come and whisper in my ear and tell me that I'm dreaming. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. I don't want to believe. Someone I trusted with my all took me for granted. Took me for granted. You betrayed me. I don't know that you hate me. That is why. What are you doing to yourself? Do you want to kill yourself? Do you think drinking yourself to a stupor will solve this situation? The damage has been done. The only thing you should be thinking about now is the way forward. Uh, give, me, give, me, give me that. Give me that bottle now. I will Please. not give it to you. Enough is enough. I will not watch you get wasted just like that. Mom, the only consolation I have right now is this button in your hand. At least, <coughs> it will not betray me. I 
I know what it is capable of. <coughs> Give it to me. My son, I know you are hot. Patrick will never solve the problem. Oh, mom, it will help me forget the problem. Huh? Mom, I love that so much. So much. I was ready to do anything humanly possible to put a smile on her face. What did she do in return? She paid me back my affection. With betrayal. Son, please, if you can. Enough, Mom, enough, enough, enough of the election. <sighs> enough. Mom, I am broken. I am broken, man. You can't force me to do your bidding. Watching waste like this. No. God help me. Yes, Mom. You sent for me. Yes, my dear. Yes, I want to talk to you about your sister. <sighs> um, is that why you called me here? Yes. You can't continue avoiding this conversation. Hmm? What happened between your sister and James was in the past. Look, I am not justifying what she did. Mm -mm. I'm not. But all I'm saying is you should find it in your heart to forgive her. She has apologized many times. Please. She is your sister. Your flesh and blood. Oh, do you think I do not want to forgive her? Anytime I think about it, Mom, all I see is a picture of them together. Mom, where was her conscience? Where was her humility? As my sister, she's supposed to have my back. What did she do? She turned around and stabbed me. What did I ever do? What did I ever do to deserve this? I ask you, mom, what did I do to deserve that from my flesh and blood? My darling, I understand how you feel. I wish I have answers to your many questions. It breaks my heart to see you both living like total strangers with grudges in your heart. Please, find a place in your heart and forgive your sister, if for not for my sake. Please forgive her, so that you have peace of mind. Okay, mom. Can I go now? Yes. But, uh, what about your boyfriend? He has not visited since you came back home. 
and we are no longer together. What? What happened? You two were so good together. Oh, well, mommy, there, there was no us. I'm I sorry. don't understand that. I lied. What? I actually contracted him to act as my boyfriend, to act like we have, we have, we had a relationship. Why will you do such a thing? Mom, Why? Because of you, Mom. Mom. Because of you. She wouldn't give me Britain space in this house, Mom. You kept disturbing me to bring a man to the house, Mom. So what would I do? It's Victoria's wedding, and I didn't just want you lecturing me how I'm supposed to get married before my younger sister. So I had to do what I had to do. I had to hire a boyfriend just so I can just have peace. My darling, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't know that the pressure I was mounting on you was going to push you that far. Please, I know better now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to mom. Um, I'm sorry for lying. Sorry for lying about Henry. I'm sorry. So much. I love you. Love you too. I'm man. sorry, darling. You forgiving me? <laughs> You're the best mom in the world. Thank you, darling. God bless you. Thank Don't you. worry. Your own man will come. The man that will love you. The man that will cherish you and treat you like a queen that you are. Okay? Thank you, mommy. I love you, baby. Love you too, mom. I just, I just hope my sister will forgive me. I have lost the two important people in my life. I did that out of foolishness. Sure. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt her. Disappointed in myself. <laughs> Don't say that. I know Natasha will come around. <laughs> Just give her more time. Okay? Ask for Joseph. I know he loves you a lot. You guys will get along. I'm not sure, Mom. I'm not sure he will accept me after cheating on him with his best friend. Baby, <laughs> never say never. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose him. He's the best thing that has ever happened to me. I know. Don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry. With time, everything will be fine. Okay? It's alright. It's okay. I don't want to lose them both. I can't lose them both. Don't worry. Everything will fall in place. They just hope he forgives me. I'm broken, mommy. Okay, I'm so broken. Right. I'm broken. Okay. Okay. I'm so ashamed of myself. I can never deliberately hurt Joseph. Never. I was. I was young. As at that time, I never knew I would fall in love with him. I thought I was just having fun. But then, I fell in love with him. I can, I can never hurt Joseph. 
Eva, my baby, please, please find it in your hands to forgive me. Please. I was admitted at the hospital years back for urgent blood transfusion. It was difficult for me to get blood because I am O positive. I was so happy that fateful day when the doctor told me that there's a girl with O positive who is willing to donate blood for me. Victoria, you saved my life. <laughs> Two years later, I was shocked when my son walked into this family with you as his wife to be. I welcomed you with open arms. I thought you were the best choice for him. I never knew things would turn out to be like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Victoria. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. I know you've been very disappointed in me. Oh, please. Please forgive me. Please, Ma. Ma, please, I beg you. Please. I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose Joseph. Not when I'm carrying his child. What? Victoria, you are pregnant? Yes, ma. Carry your grandchild. to do something. Yes. I know what she did was wrong. But she deserves a second chance. Especially now that she's carrying my grandchild. Why is Joseph not back? Oh. Switched off. His behavior is getting out of hand these days. It's time he comes back to his senses. But what if the child is not his? You said you wanted to see me. I'm here now. First of all, I want to say thank you for honoring my invitation. It's okay. Um, I'm actually here to talk to you about my cousin. She sent you to me, right? You see, I've told her before that 
I don't have anything to do with her anymore. Just say, calm down, please. And for the record, she didn't send me here. She doesn't even know I'm here with you. I know that you're hurt. I know that you're angry. I know that you're sad. And honestly, you have all the right to feel the way that you feel right now because what she did is terrible. It's awful. But honestly, she is sorry. She feels so ashamed for what she has done. And please, do not let a mistake she made so many years ago ruin what you get here. Please. You're joking, right? Did I hear you said so many years ago? Victoria cheated on me while we are still dating. Do you know why I feel terribly bad? Because she cheated on me with my best friend. My childhood friend. She hurts me so much with that attitude. I love her so much. But she doesn't value my love. She took my love for granted. No, 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 don't say that. She loves you with all of her heart. See, what happened between her and James is just a stupid and silly mistake. And trust me, she's honestly remorseful about it. Oh, that's not possible. She's not remorseful about it. See, let me state it clearly here that Victoria doesn't love me. Oh, yes. If she does, she wouldn't have intentionally slept with my own friend. She doesn't love me. I understand. Trust me, I know how you feel. You know, you don't know how I feel. I wear the shoes. I know where it pinches. Just please forgive me. Find a place in your heart to forgive. Lillian, you see, I, I came here because of the kind of respect I have for you when you called me by the phone and asked me to come, but I am sorry I'm not ready to discuss about this anymore. Joseph, I'll see you next time, please. Joseph, Joseph, please. She's honestly sorry. So what do you want? Listen, I've, I've come to, to speak with you. Harry, I thought I told you that I don't ever want to see your face again. Oh, Nati, you can't, you can't keep doing this to me. Please. All right. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry not to have told you what I saw, but I need you to understand me. I'll never, I'll never deliberately do something to hurt your feelings. I, I'm sorry. Please. Are you done? Can we not talk here? Please, just allow me to take you out on a launch date. Let's have a heart to heart. That way you get to see where I'm coming from. Please, baby. I love you. Seriously, I do. I don't know when it happened, but it has always been there. I've always loved you. I have feelings for you. Please. I don't believe you. Well, if you're done with your sermon, just get into your car and leave. I don't know what to see. Then you want to you want to prepare tea hot enough to peel my tongue. I'm sorry, it's just 
just the way you used to like it. It's... No, no, don't, don't, don't even touch it. I don't want to be angry with you in this house. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry for yourself. How do you start your hot tea? No, no, don't, no, don't, don't even touch it. What is the problem? I'm on, can you imagine? She stabbed me with her teeth, cold enough to peel my tongue. Gift. You can go. Thank you, ma'am. Baby, baby, just go. It's okay. It's okay. Son, I want to have a word with you. Mom, please, please. If you're here, don't lecture me about that girl who slept with my best friend. Mom, please. I don't want to listen to that lectures now. You have to listen to me. Mom, I'm not interested. Keep it to yourself. She is pregnant. How? Obviously not for me. Joseph! Joseph, come back here! Joseph! Gift! Gift! Clear this table. How are you sure that that pregnancy belongs to me? I know your fear. You and I know that that pregnancy is yours. What Victoria did was wrong. But it was long ago. I am positive the child she's carrying is your child. Mom, oh. even if I'm patient enough for her to give birth to that child, I will take care of that child, but see Victoria as a person. Mom, I will never get married to her. It is a no-no between us. That is me. You are just like your father. Strong-hearted. Son, nobody is perfect. Not even I, your mother. We all deserve a second chance. Your father gave it to me. I don't understand. Uh, when I got married to your father newly, he was not always at home because of his business. So, he asked his best friend to always keep me company. Which he did. But one thing led to the other. We made love. Unfortunately, your father came back that day and met us. 
in our matrimonial bed. He was so mad at me. He was so hot. But he gave me a second chance. We all deserve a second chance. Why are you telling me this? My son, please. I know what Victoria did was wrong. But give her a second chance. We all deserve a second chance. Where are you going? Do you realize the soup that what you do? I mean, um, Daddy, I think I should uh, join you later. I'm no longer hungry. I'll eat later. I don't get it. You just said a moment ago that you were very hungry. How come you're not hungry again? Mama will eat later. Come on, sit down there, my friend. Dad, how do you expect me to eat on the same table with her? I don't want to upset her. Um, listen, Dad, uh, I am famished. And can I start eating? If she really doesn't want to eat, she can leave. This is not happening in my house. It's not possible. What's this? Come on, sit down. Sit! You don't know how to arrange the chair again. Hmm? Natasha. I think you're being too harsh on Henry. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I understand the importance of honesty in every relationship. But you don't have to blame him too much. He acknowledged his mistakes and he has apologized for it. Well, Mom, one thing that I've learned recently is never to trust people by their words, or rather, take people by their words. <laughs> they say this today. And today, tomorrow you see them doing another thing. 
so difficult. I know you're saying this because of James. But you have forgotten that they are two different people. James is an asshole. Why Henry is a total gentleman. Why don't you give him a chance? Mom, oh, come on. I'm not sure I still want to give love another chance. I'm, I'm so scared to be, to be hurt again, Mom. My darling, you can't give up on love because of fear of the unknown. Love is a beautiful thing. Henry loves you and he cares about you. Just give the young man a chance. Think about it. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know. I can't promise that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Hmm? I'll try. It's all right. Joseph, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It was the devil's work. Hey, 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 hey. Please, just leave the innocent devil act of what you did. Because you did it intentionally. I did, I, I did not. Please, I don't want to lose you. I can't lose you. I'm carrying your baby. I'm pregnant for you. You can't lose me. You should have thought about that before sleeping with my best friend. My own best friend. Of course, I know you're pregnant. <laughs> Don't worry, give birth to the child. I will take care of the child. We don't need to be together for me to take care of my child. <gasps> my child. Sorry. Forgive me. I beg you. I know, I know that deep down inside of you, a part of you still cares about me. Please. You know what? I am done with you. Joseph, 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 Joseph. Look, I don't want to be mad with you. Joseph, Joseph. Get out of my way. Joseph, Joseph. Look, I don't want to be mad. Get out of my way! Joseph, I can't lose my... Get out. Joseph. My friend, don't. Don't. Joseph me. Don't. Listen to me. God knows I've tried my best. God, what will I do? I don't mean to hurt him. I never meant it. God. Natasha, Natasha, please, I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. Please, 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 can we, can we get back as sisters again, please? Please, please. <laughs> It was wrong. I know I hurt you badly, but please, I beg you, I beg you, <laughs> find it in your heart to forgive me, please. I forgive you. <gasps> I forgive you. I forgive you long time ago. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This one person has to forgive me. Thank you. He refused to forgive me. He refused to forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Sir. I hope that water took about her. Sir, for how long? I mean, how long are you going to keep punishing yourself like this? You've wallowed in pain for long now. Why don't you just reconsider your stand? I lost Victoria the very dark land of infidelity. So you once told me. You once told me that a winner is simply a loser. Who tried one more time? So, I mean, why not give her a second chance? I think she's truly sorry. Gift? Save yourself that summer. There's no second chance. Besides, my dignity is involved here. Sorry to ask, sir. Would you rather sacrifice your own happiness on the altar of pride? She wants me to forgive her. Tell me. Why should I do that? Please, you need to forgive her. Listen, I know what she did was hurtful and not easy to, to let go. But my sister loves you. Trust me. And she's so hurt over what she did. She's really regretting it. She cries herself to sleep all the time. And lately she threatened to kill herself. Yes. What? She almost committed suicide. Yes. Threatened to kill herself? Yes, Joseph. Some days ago she tried to cut herself. Joseph, please, help us. Please. We're here on her behalf. Please. Please find a place in your heart to forgive her, please. Please. Please, Joseph, please. Are you okay? Mom. She almost killed herself because of me. I will never forgive myself if she do anything stupid just for my sake. Then what are you waiting for? Do the right thing. Sometimes what makes you a man is your ability to let go of your ego and do the right thing. Go and get her. She loves you. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you.
I'll leave it. Dreaming. No, no, sure, sure not. Can we talk? Sure. I was told that you wanted to take your life. Then I realized how much you love me. I am not here to say that what you did was right or wrong. I am here to understand why you cheated on me with my best friend. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong, I am not here to condemn you. You are human. We are bound to make mistakes. I have made mine. You've made yours as well. But I want us to put everything behind us. And start all over again. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank it's you. Okay. Thank you for giving me a second chance. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I want us to start this second journey in all honesty and transparency. I swear, I swear to God, I have no other thing to hide apart from what I told you. I swear. I have no other thing to hide. It's okay. Yeah. There is something I want to tell you. Okay. Uh, what is it? It's about your friend. Mercy. Mercy? Yeah. What? What about her? What happened? Oh. What did she do? Did she do something? Ah. Uh, not really. Uh. We, we, we had a one night stand. <laughs> you, you had a one night stand with my friend. Can you imagine to think I've been guilty all this while? You've been playing sex. You had a one night stand with my friend. Was My friend! Ago. That was a long time ago. It happened before I met you, honey. What do you mean? I don't understand. How? Years ago in Abuja, we ran into each other. One thing led to another. And we had it one night. As a matter of fact, I've forgotten about everything until we met at the hotel. She wanted us to stop where we stopped, but I refused. What? I refused because I love you. That bitch. In an attempt to <coughs> get my attention, she she told me about you and James. What? That bitch. You mean Mercy told you about us? Yeah. She did. Bitch. <sighs> I just want you to know that I never cheated on you. Not even for once. We had that one night before I met you. I never cheated on you. And I will never, ever cheat on you. It's 
okay. It's okay. I love you. I believe you. I love you too. I love you too. I love you so much. Please, just, can you please just hear me out? Please. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, the way I spoke to you, the way I treated you, I mean, everything. Harry, I, I, I never knew your love is genuine. I didn't know. Lillian told me everything. Everything she did to you was actually a try. She just tested you to know how much you, you loved me. How strong you are, your love is. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I feel terrible. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course, I mean it. It's a yes. I will marry you. All right. That's fine. See ya. Yes. Someone come and whisper in my ear and tell me that I'm dreaming. I need to wake up. I need to wake up. I don't want to believe. Someone I trusted with my all took me for granted. Took me for granted. You betrayed me. I don't know that you hate me. That is why. So 